Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video about the One Piece card game. Today, it is Red Purple Law Time. This is one of my favourite decks uh, in the game. It is extremely fun to play, and with 06 coming out, it finally feels viable. Um, I definitely don't think it's like a top tier, like, you know, it's not it's not Sakazuki, it's not Moria. Um, but I definitely think it's like a tier 2 slash tier 1.5 contender. Um, this should be, like winning locals on a regular basis. It is a really, really powerful deck. Um, you just have to build it right, and it, it it's fairly skill intensive, um, but I also think like, um, you know, it just, it's it, it's so fun um, to just kind of turn your brain off sometimes and just go like, ooga booga rush. Um, that's really, really good. Uh, I definitely think this is far more on the skill intensive side than the, um, than the ooga booga rush side, but there's definitely a fair bit of, of the ooga booga rush. Another reason I really like this deck is right now, I believe, it is fairly affordable, save for, um, of course, you know, the big bad Gordon, which, um, if you didn't pick up when the game came out, uh, I think is like 15, 20 bucks a piece for a promo that everyone was given for free, basically, which sucks. Um, but outside of that card, it is pretty cheap, and um, come Extra Booster, or um, the Memorial Booster, EB01, um, this deck goes into overdrive. It gets uh, multiple absolutely broken cards that um, are strict upgrades to the cards the deck is already playing. Um, and it, it just goes crazy. So um, it's a really good investment. Um, and I think it's top tier. I absolutely think it's top tier in uh, EB. Uh, uh, because, um, I mean, it's, it's not beating Saka, but like, I mean, outside of that, it's beating everything else. <laughs> Potentially, it's really, really good. And it can beat Saka. Um, this is a really, really good deck. Um, so let's uh, go over the list. Um, we'll start with the uh, sort of top end, um, which in this deck uh, caps out at five. Um, so five uh, kids. Um, this is, uh, we know why this card is good. Um, it means it's a blocker. It's a 6k blocker. Um, it means your leader effect essentially costs two um, and you're getting back one uh, as active. Um, like, if you can get two of these out, then suddenly you're never losing tempo ever, and you're doing some really, really silly things. Um, you can also, struct if you sequence your uh, turn correctly, um, you can get way more Don um, out of your turn than you otherwise would. Um, you can get, like, more efficient attacks. Um, all sorts of really, really good stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, this card's really, really good. Uh, two laws. Um, I think you kind of have to play this law just to punish people for not playing around it. Um, I think, like, everyone needs to be aware that this card exists, and, um, honestly, sometimes, like, it just steals you a game because you discard, like, 4k counter, uh, and that's all the counter that Sakazuki player had, or you discard more, more importantly, you discard just, like, two essential pieces, right, into yellow, if you just go, like, okay, Yamato gone, and, uh, like, NL gone, um, or sorry, and, uh, like, Katakuri gone, and suddenly their top end is just done, that's it, that's all they had. Um, this can just literally win you the game on the top, uh, on, on its own, against Yamato, discard a Hody, like, suddenly, what are they doing? Um, so yeah, um, it's also another blocker, which is really, really nice, into some of those more aggressive decks. Um, so yeah, really, really good card. Another law here, this is the, another promo law, which is, again, it's not going anywhere, um, I think it's still played in 07, so it's just one of those things where you've got to pick up these promo packs, um, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, this card's really solid, um, it lets you bot deck a 5k, uh, and we all know that, uh, that is really, really good. Um, and then you can bot deck the 5k, and then you can slam out um, any of your other crazy four costs, which is, you know, you can play out the lore, you can play out another one of these if you wanted to. You can play out one of the best buffs this deck could possibly have gotten. Vince McRaju, this card's crazy. Um, this card is absolutely nuts. So basically, um, you just draw two. You, you just you just draw two. Um, you, you always have less than five cards in hand, or five. Um, you always have less on the opponent, so this card just says draw two. Um, and I think, if anything, um, you should know that uh, if a card says draw two, it's going to see play. Uh, so yeah, this card's nuts. It's a 1k counter as well. Um, not that you basically ever counter with it. Um, so yeah, just outrageously good. For Iron, this is just because we need ramp. Um, this is usually your turn to like, on-curve play, like ideally. Um, and then we need some more ramp here, just in terms of fixes. So Beppo and Shachi and Penguin. These are usually what you want to be playing off of the leader effect. Um, so usually what you want to do is, uh, let's say you go first, turn one, you do nothing. Turn two, you either swing eight or swing five, play a Zoro, do nothing. Um, just build a little bit of board. You do not use that leader effect. And then from turn three onwards, you start using the leader effect. Um, you're going up to five. You could play a kid, for example. Um, use your leader effect, bot deck something small. Um, play out a Shachi Penguin, ramp two at rest. So you're up to four and then you ramp one as active. So you're up to five. Um, so you haven't lost any Don that turn. Uh, you've been able to remove something, you've been able to build board. Um, there's all sorts of really, really good stuff you can do. Uh, and then from there, you just sort of uh, go uh, on and on. Um, Beppo's going to get you uh, arrested on every single turn. Kid's obviously getting you a Don every single turn. So, yeah, just uh, very, very powerful cards. 
Um, your three drops are also really, really good. Um, we play three Rosh Zorro. Um, we all know why this card's crazy. Um, it's just, yep, it can let you close out games. Uh, for Shariah, um, this card's really, really good. So this is a, a new card. It's a blocker, 3-4, um, which says when attacking or on block, if this character this character's base power becomes the same as your opponent's leader until the start of your next turn. So um, this is really, really strong because it means it's always blocking leaders for 1k, no matter how big the leader is. Um, and uh, it is also always uh, attacking leaders at their power. So you can um, just turn it into a 5k swing, um, 6k swing against Whitebeard, or whatever. not that anyone plays Whitebeard, or, or uh, Luffy, uh, red, red, purple Luffy. Um, the card's just really, really solid. What's not to like? Uh, one Sanji. Uh, I play this just against decks that are trying to um, that are trying to deny you. Um, so you just have the option. Um, you could make it a fourth Otama, um, three Otama, just because uh, space is a little bit tight. Uh, but you do really want to be playing that um, the uh, the twelve two Ks. So you you play it. Uh, then we got four Raise Max and four Gordon. So Raise Max is strictly better Gordon um, because it's literally exactly the same, except it um, it also has a bonus trait, so it is strictly better, um, and the trait is relevant. Um, but obviously in a deck like this, you just play eight because why wouldn't you? Um, now you're bot decking uh, sixes. Cool, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, like you got to play these cards. Um, they're just giving you stupid access to removal. Um, oftentimes you'll play two or three of them in a turn to deal with something big, and your opponent's just sitting there going like, "Well, I guess I'm getting cooked." Um, and your Rage is refilling your hands, so it doesn't matter that you're losing them. Um, so yeah, just super good. And finally, just for some extra defense, I play four Bora Breath, uh, Blast Breath, sorry. Uh, yeah, like uh, 4k uh, for one Don. Um, most people um, like kind of forget this card exists, um, which which can be quite funny um, if they're sort of like trying to play around it. Um, yeah, it's just really, really solid. Um, honestly, this could just be Rad Beam. Nothing saying why that couldn't just be Rad Beam, but um, are, there's a small part where it's just like, okay, well, like, you know, um, if you're done, your management ends up really weird and all sort of situation like this can, if you are, if you're in a situation where you might somehow not have less done than your opponent, let you start off the turn with a Rage you. Such a niche situation. Um, this is just like, this is just Rad Beam, except you can use it earlier in the game before you hit two life. That's basically it. Um, but yeah, that is this. Uh, that is the deck, uh, Red Purple Lord. This deck is amazing. Uh, really, really fun. Really recommend playing it. This is actually like the deck I have the most fun playing with casually um, because it's powerful, um, but it's not like meta powerful. Um, but it's really, really good and it's really, really fun. Um, and you just get to turn sideways, man. Like you get to turn card sideways. It's great. You don't turn sideways. You turn the card sideways. But yep, there we go. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more One Piece card game content. Keep an eye out because. Come EB, I will be doing an in-depth guide for this on my Patreon, which you can check out linked in the description. Five a month, super worth it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.